Hey YouTube, this I need to come back with another video to encourage, inspire, uplift, inform, enlighten anyone that comes to my video. But I've been sitting here just, you know, meditating. I mean, I just keep hearing God just talk to me. And, um, you know, he really placed on my heart, you know, to talk about the urgency of why we need to wake up to our divinity, wake up to the spiritual part of who we are. You know, I know a lot of people may say I am woke up. You know, I go to church every Sunday. You know, I do this, I do that. I'm a leader in the church or whatever. But I'm talking about, you know, his urgency is waking up to the spiritual realm where you know how to navigate life through his eyes and not, you know, through your five senses is what he's saying. And you know, the reason why he wants that to happen so that he can, so that his people can see things the way that he does so that if change needs to take place, it will. This is the reason why he's trying to awaken because he's trying to bring a new earth, a new place of peace, love, and harmony within humanity at large. This is his whole purpose and plan. And he uses vessels to be able to bring information to humanity or those that God wants to hear the message to help them, you know, really look at things from his perspective instead of what we've been taught to see things, okay? And he has been, you know, just talking to me about, you know, just the spiritual part of who we are and, you know, just, you know, when we think about vibration, you know, he brings me to the chakra system. You know, we have tons of chakras within our body, but the chakra system with aligns with our spine is what I'm talking about. And all this is spiritual. And those that have not really awakened or been enlightened to this particular part of who God is, then this ain't for you. You know what I'm saying? Because you're, you're going to look at it as something like, girl, what you talking about? You know, I know it's a lot of people out there talking about quantum physics and law of attraction and, you know, just a lot of spiritual things. But just this right here, God is just putting on my heart to kind of talk about it because, you know, I really didn't understand it either when it came to our emotional body, you know, and what that means in a sense of, you know, everything that we feel, taste, touch, see, and hear comes through our, our emotional body, our physical body, you know, and that part of us. He wanted us, he wanted us to be able to feel the things that he wanted to experience. He never wanted us to feel no pain and sorrow and heartbreak or none of that. He never wanted us to feel none of those things in our emotional body. That's only because we was disconnected from him. We never knew who we were. We only knew what we was programmed to know. You know, so we took on a lot of things in our lives that caused pain, making bad choices and decisions, not realizing the outcome of them. So, you know, God is calling, you know, and urging people to really wake up to their divinity so that they can understand how to heal those aspects of your life. And each chakra re represents certain areas of who you are. You know, I can give an example for, you know, the throat chakra. When you got people that don't really like to speak that much, you know, maybe stutter or have, you know, vocal issues, all that is hot heart, I mean, throat chakra stuff. You know, that's a chakra that resides in the area of the throat and whatever that the throat represents, you know, that causes any heartache and, and pain in that area. And then you think about the heart, you know, when the heart is broken, hurt, you know, your feelings and your emotions flows from that through your emotional body. But God wanted our heart to be healed and whole. So the feelings that flows through our heart and flows through our emotional body is positive stuff, you know, good stuff that we can feel and, and taste and touch and, and see in our reality. He didn't want us to feel no pain and struggle and heartache and disappointment. He never wanted us to feel those things. But because we do, and we now know 
Well, I now know what it means to feel good and bad and know when it's God and when it ain't God because I've healed certain areas in my chakra system that allows my chakras to be flowing from a pure place, a hold and heal place. And um, when I navigate through this world, I can, I can discern good and bad and choose good because my emotional body has healed enough to know what's best for it. You understand? I'm saying it's like, you know, you don't want to bring anything to, that comes to you that's going to cause harm. So when you've experienced the healing and the evolving and transformation in those areas where you were broken, where there was trauma and toxicity and you, you evolved and you healed and now your emotional body is healed enough to, to know the difference and know what to choose. And this is what this is all about so that we can be mindful to operate in the good and not always what we have experienced in our lives. Because sometimes, you know, we build on trauma because that's what our emotional body is full of. I'm talking for real. This is some good stuff. And, you know, God wants us to understand how this thing operates when it comes to our chakra system, which really reflects our emotional body and how we feel. And if all if those areas in our body is not functioning properly, we're going to operate in distorted perspectives, distorted thinking, distorted the way we see ourselves and others. Because our chakra system and our emotional body is is full of toxicity, trauma, you know, dysfunction because it hadn't healed in those areas that needed to be healed in. And this is where God is urging us to do that because He want to connect. He want to connect back to the emotional body so that the things that you produce in your reality is good, it's abundant, it's prosperous, and it can be successful because that's who he is. So, you know, when he gave me this, it just kind of blew me away because he really and truly want us to really come into that true, authentic person that he designed for us to be. But the only way we can get to it if we heal and align our chakras and heal our emotional body to a place where we can experience the good that God has for us and know what's good and bad and what to choose and what would be for the betterment of this emotional body. That's why, as you know, important, you know, as far as relationships, partnerships and business, anything that you do, you want your, you know, you want your, your, perspective and your emotional body and your everything in alignment so that you can make correct decisions because sometimes we make decisions out of distorted thinking and lust and pride and all of that comes into play greed so you you know you operating from a vibration where you know it's all about me myself and I and that's not what God wants he wants us to operate in a vibration where we're going to always be limited in abundance. So no matter what we give or what we offer or what we do, it's always going to come back to us in a good way because we're giving it out in a good way. You know what I'm saying? Because the intentions is good. The, the emotions behind what you're doing is in good intentions. So, you know, this is something that God was putting on my heart, which I thought was powerful. And um, I hope somebody gets some out of this, you know, and if you do, you can subscribe, you can hit that thumbs up, you can even leave a comment if you like, and you have a blessed day. Bye.